Okay, so today we're out on a pre-run. We're leading a, a, a group uh, that we drive with quite frequently, a Metroplex Mini. And uh, we're going to be leading them in a couple of weeks. So we're out doing a pre-run. This is actually a ride that we've done uh, quite a few times. We've actually led uh, using on the Hog as well as led uh, in the Mini before. So it's actually a, a, a route that we're familiar with. But because of the uh, the bad weather we had recently, we decided to do a pre-run to see if the uh, road surface had been damaged at all. In fact, we haven't, we haven't driven this for over a year, so it's always a good idea to check the route out, you know, make sure there's not any bad potholes or uh, even any road closures, things like that. And also, uh, you know, in Texas, they've got a habit of resurfacing the road. And when they say the resurfacing, what they actually mean is they put gravel on top. Which is horrible to drive on, so it's always good to check that out. Anyway, so far, so far um, the route's been pretty good. Uh, anyway, and it's also a good opportunity to spend time with my wife at the weekend. So when you're out on group rides, there's always the chance that you could get broken, the group could get broken up. Uh, when you are driving through traffic in, in towns, encountering traffic lights, uh, or even on the open road actually when you make a left turn you've got to cross oncoming traffic so uh, I'd say it's probably more so with cars than motorcycles but anyway irrespective I'd like to give my participants fair warning of when this could happen and on this particular ride there are two left turns early on in the ride that could actually break the group up also it depends how many cars we've got coming with us tomorrow sorry this weekend um, so the start the ride starts at the Walmart parking lot in one, on 199 in Lake Worth. Uh, we head north on 199 crossing over the lake. A few miles up the road we're going to make a left turn over 199 onto Confederate Park Road. We actually exit 199 on the right. Uh, so, And then we drive along the service road for a little bit which takes us up onto a bridge which takes us across 199. Again, the left turn we're making is Confederate Park Road and it's very well signposted. It's two stop signs on the bridge and so the chances are we'll get broken up there even if we're a small group we will wait as the lead car we'll be waiting on the verge on the right just over the bridge and we'll announce that on the radio so everyone should be fully aware where we're at and uh, and what we're doing so we'll approach Springtown on i-51 which is also called main street and uh, basically we we hit 199 and we've got a left turn at a traffic light there which is usually pretty busy right now the crush road is blocked or it was when we we drove this and so that's pretty good news for us because basically there's no oncoming traffic so when the lights turn green to make a left turn we've got nothing to avoid or nothing to wait for so depending on how many cars we've got with us hopefully we'll get we'll all get through in, in in one light but if we don't no problem uh, what we'll do is the lead car will continue driving at 199 so you'll see us disappear off into the distance don't worry about that we'll be waiting on the verge on the right just past Springfield mini storage units and that's just as you exit Springtown so I think there's another traffic light you're going to go through you're just going to go straight through it uh, before you actually get out of Springtown again that's Springtown mini storage units just outside Springtown and they're on the right and uh, they are blue in color so you can't miss them and that's pretty much it after we we've all regrouped if we if we have to uh, obviously we'll head up 199 a little bit further where we're then going to make a left turn onto old agnes road but after that the buddy system kicks in so from now on if the car in front speeds ahead then they should be waiting at the next turn so you do not get left behind or get lost and the whole idea is that you do the same thing for the car behind you so if you want to go faster than the car behind you and uh, you can see the car in front of you making a turn you really need to wait at that turn or slow down and let the car behind catch up so they can at least see you make the turn they haven't got to be right behind you but so they can see you make the turn and as long as we follow that rule all the way through uh, no one's going to get lost and we're not going to lose any cars so that's it so we've been driving for about an hour and a half. This is our first stop actually. It's the um, uh, Brazos Water Authority Overlook at Possum Kingdom Lake. Actually I don't think it's a lake, I think it's a river. But it's very wide so it looks like a lake. Anyway, we stay here, stop here for a, a short break. Maybe do a drone shot, but not today. 
weather isn't that great for our pre-ride, but eh, whatever, it doesn't matter. It's pretty cool the overlook though. Let me give you a look, look see. Unfortunately, the bathrooms are closed. Yeah, that's going to be bad news for everyone on the ride. Anyway, I think it's time to get back in the car and head on back, right? Anne is waiting in the car. She didn't want to. She didn't want to get out of the car. It's actually not that cold. It's just wet and windy. Alrighty, let's carry on. So let's take a few minutes to quickly go over the route. As you know, we're starting in Lake Worth from the parking lot of Walmart as a good starting point to top off gas, grab some water and snacks for the ride. Instead of heading straight at 199, as you already know, we head west on Inner Dog's Leg before turning north on Tucker Road and Veal Station. Uh, if you're familiar with the area, these, these roads have got some reasonably good little twisties. Not a lot, but a few. And then we'll be cutting up to I-51 Main Street onto Springtown. The one thing I will say about this, this section of the ride is unfortunately the recent inclement weather has taken its toll on some of the road surfaces. We didn't notice any big potholes or anything damp that could damage your car, but certainly the, 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 the surface has deteriorated a little bit. Uh, once we hit 199 in Springtown, it's time to head north to Old Agnes Road and Old Agnes, actually. We drive through the little village of Old Agnes. Uh, the starting point for another series of small twisty back roads, taking us over to Poolville and Wit. There's some quite interesting little roads here. I'm sure you'll enjoy it and uh, you can drive at whatever speed you want. Uh, the roads slowly start to straighten out as we pass through Grafford, heading due west over 377. And this is a chance uh, for you to, if you want to change position in the, in the column, there's some straight roads, but, Good opportunity to pass if you want to and so this will take us to our first stop which is possum kingdom and the brazos river authority overlook when we did our pre-run we took one hour and 30 minutes to get to this location and just to point out on the day we did our pre-run it was raining it wasn't raining very heavily it was just persistent drizzle but um, obviously there's a there was a chance of slick roads and so and took it a little bit more carefully so this stop, uh, uh, the bad news is on our pre-run we found the toilets were out of service. So sorry about that, can't do anything about it. Uh, the good news is it's time to stretch your legs, get some fresh air, take some photos and maybe a drone, a group drone shot if it's not too windy. And, and it's only 30 minutes to the next pit stop for the toilet so it's not too bad of a story. So we're going to take the long way round to Palo Pinto because there's no direct route across and this is where we pick up FM4 I really love FM4 I highly recommend coming back and driving in both directions on, on this road there are a few tight bends which are fun to negotiate at speed just be careful on, on our ride going downhill there's one bend that does have a decreasing radius so that can catch you out a little bit shouldn't have any problems though so our second pit stop is in Santo and that's 30 minutes away from the overlook where we made our first stop so we clocked an accumulated drive time of two hours to Santo and, and this is a good place for a, a buy a break. We put, pull into a, a gas station there um, so you, if you want to get, if you haven't got any water you can grab some while you're there. There's a few more surprises on this ride especially in the last few miles. Bends are well marked but look out, sharp left hand 90 degree bend on, F, on, F, on 51. We'll be making another sharp left a turn off 51 onto a side road to the restaurant and you just need to be a little bit careful here, watch out for oncoming traffic. Now these are just two lane roads and it's not that easy to see um, see the traffic coming especially as you're trying to make this turn is because you're turning back on yourself. Our final accumulated drive time to Loco Coyote was three hours which isn't too bad and as I've already mentioned and wasn't really pushing it and um, so we'll probably make a, a, a better time. However, just keep in mind that this three hours does not include stopping at the Brazos River Authority or the second pit stop. So the overall drive time may be something more like three and a half hours, just to, yeah, just to keep in mind. And that's it. I hope you enjoy the ride. We made it to Loco Coyote. Uh, actually took three hours, that doesn't include the stops, 
So if you add stop at the lake, buy a break on the way, it's three and a half hours, so it's about right. Yeah, it's pretty quiet here today actually, not, not too many bikers, it's usually uh, all bikes and not many, not many uh, cages, but uh, today, yeah, there's plenty of people on four wheels. Anyway, with that being said, thanks for joining us today and uh, see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you found it useful and of interest. And we'd like to see you again. Bye.